Yeah, so I wanted to take a quick video here. Um, I just been working on a project. Um, I always wanted to do this, but it wasn't possible until recently. Uh, I had the goal of modding an Xbox <clears throat> to like have a have an LCD screen in the controller. And of course, you know that was just never possible before because they always had the cold cathode backlight. It would draw, even the smallest would draw over an amp. Nowadays, you can bypass the 12 volt regulator, uh, and since they're LED backlit, they draw 300 milliamps, which made it possible to hook it up to an Xbox controller and actually have. I mean, it's not the best screen, but it's, um, it's still a portable screen. So I just got that to work, and I wanted to show you guys. So first of all, you see, the only thing hook up, hooked up to the. <clears throat> let me talk. <laughs> I'm just excited, so sorry. Uh, the only thing hooked up to this Xbox is power right now. Okay, we agree on that? Okay, normally if that's all you got, you don't have the AV kit, you turn it on, you're going to get a flashing orange and green. All right, we don't get that. That's because I modded the uh, AV output. Basically, when you insert certain AV packs, they short one of the pins to ground, and that tells it what AV pack is in it. Oh, sorry, there's my messy camera. Anyway, so we're going to put controller one in. And I've got just some regular controllers. This one's just crappy, chewed up. Doesn't matter. The controller itself is not modded. What is modded is... Uh, this this is a 1.6 Xbox, so I rebuilt the LPC, put a mod chip in it, um, and then did these mods to the AV port. So here, this monstrosity is, monstrosity is what I just built. So Xbox Live Communicator, totally useless these days. Um, I took a little crappier backup camera, and the wires aren't right yet, like as far as length. I'm just testing to see if it works. So we're just going to insert it into the controller and let's power this <laughs> there's no sound yet I'm gonna have to achieve that basically the controller can only do uh, 500 milliamps or half an amp and that is like full force right I can't do any more than that so since the controller draws a couple hundred milliamps and the screen draws 300 we're totally maxed out so for audio um, I'm just gonna have to do a Bluetooth transmitter and it'll have to be powered with a a battery that all fits inside of the uh, Xbox Live communicator but for now I'm pretty satisfied with what we got here um, basically the yellow wire isn't used for USB. So for USB, there's two data wires, power and ground. So power's five volts, ground. So in the screen, it, it's a 12 volt screen. You have to bypass the 12 volt regulator and just go straight to five volts. And so that's what we got here. And like I was saying, the, the yellow wire is not actually used for anything. It's used for the light gun in the Xbox, nothing else. So you can just actually take that out at the uh, Xbox. Uh, inside the console connect it up and then so it comes through a regular controller cable to the yellow wire and then so you just mod your memory card um, you know connect the composite uh, wire up to where the yellow would be happens to match yellow to yellow and done deal so I hadn't seen anybody else do this I know it looks kind of janky but I mean <laughs> it works